Hi, I'm Allie. Today, I'm going to read you a book called Pet Detective Tortoise Trouble. Are you ready to read with me? Yeah. Lost a pet? Seen a pet crime? Then you need the pet detectives. Why? Pet detectives find pets. They stop crime. How do I know? I am a pet detective. Chapter 1. Let me tell you about my latest case. It started like any other Monday. I got up. I got dressed. And then the doorbell rang. Uh-oh, trouble. I pulled on my detective's hat and ran out of the door. A kid in a tortoise print t-shirt stood in there. You must help me, she cried. I'm Kara and I've lost my rocket. Rocket? I pointed to my sign. I do pets. I know, said Kara. I can read. This kid was clever. Go on, I said. I lost my rocket yesterday. She sniffed. Did it zoom off into space? Kara looked puzzled. My rocket doesn't zoom. He, pl he plods. Now I was puzzled. What kind of rocket plods? Tortoise, Kara said. A tortoise, I laughed, named Rocket. She was shouted, laughing. When I remember it was on a case. Um, I flipped open my notebook. Give me that bat. Kara began. I was helping my dad build this rock carolate. Where? Kara rolled her eyes. In the garden, of course. Just a fact. I reminded her. Okay, Kara nodded. One minute, Rocket was munching on a cabbage leaf. Next minute, it was gone. And a cabbage leaf. That was gone too said Kara. Have we got a picture of Rocket? Kara nodded. I told Let's go. Mm. Chapter 2 I went over the facts. Maybe Rocket has has turned into a pair of sunglasses or a comb. They're made of plastic now, said Kara. I told you the kids was the kid was clever. Maybe Rocky was hit by a car zooming down the monkey. Kara rolled her eyes. We live in a village, remember? Okay. So, there are no motorways on our village. But animals can something travel the wrong way. I know, I'm a pet detective. Are there any goats nearby? I asked when we got to Kara's house. Goats, said Kara, opening the door to her room. Yes, goats. Wow, I started into the room. There was tortoise everywhere. Posters, books, lambs, even a tortoise-shaped rug. 
I looked at Rocket's picture. He, his shell was patterned brown, brown and black, and he had very tasty looking wrinkly legs. Go to eat anything, I told Kara. There aren't any goats, said Kara, but there is a dog, a big dog, and he lives next door. Let's go. Kara was right. Next door dog was a big, really big, but he had no teeth. This cat couldn't bite a jelly. I joked. You are right, laughed Kara. Suddenly, a toy flew out of the pram, but the baby can flew. Hop. If the baby threw a rocket, I said, he would be here somewhere. Detectives can work out of that. Detectives can work like that. So we searched next door's garden. We found lots of toys, but no tortoise. There was only one thing to do. Return to the scene of the crime. So back we went to Kara's garden. Chapter 3. No sign of struggle here, I said, looking round Kara's garden. But I'm a detective, and detective knows that things are not always as they seem. So I looked at the walkery. Then I looked at more closely. How slow does walker move, I asked. Really slow says Kara. Really? Really slow? Kara nodded. Why? Well, that rocket isn't moving all by itself. We looked. The rocket was patterned brown and black. And it was moving slowly. That's not a rocket. He shouted. It's What do you think it is? I mean, that's not a rock. It's a rocket. Rocket, said Kara. You are here all the time. Cleverly disguised as a rock, I added. Detectives know about disguises. I told you rock. Kid was slow, said Kara. She was clever, this kid. And so am I. Case solved it, I said. Okay, do you like this story? I love this story. And thank you for listening my story. Bye!